Petters Coil Springs are proudly Australian made, produced in their Keysborough plant in Melbourne's southeastern suburbs. Manufactured to exacting ISO 9001 2015 quality standards, an accreditation process that guarantees best practices and protocols. But how does this piece of high quality, high grade steel go from this to this? The first step is to cut the steel to a precise length with every coil requiring its own unique sizing. Next, the steel is uniformly heated in a walking beam furnace where the temperature is set to 980 degrees Celsius. The steel is mechanically fed into the furnace at a constant rate, ensuring every piece of material is heated to the same quotient. Now that the red hot steel has reached the exact desired temperature, it's time to coil. For this, the individual pieces are positioned on a fully computerized CNC coil winding machine. All Petters coil springs are hot wound for more precise results. When the process is complete, the mandrel withdraws, allowing the coil to continue down the quenching bath. The oil in the bath is maintained within its correct working temperature to maintain an even cooling progression. Next in the production line is the gas-fired tempering furnace. The temperature inside the furnace is evenly distributed and can be altered to suit different spring wire diameters. The coils will spend up to 30 minutes inside the furnace to ensure the material is heated from the exterior to its core, helping to avoid any weak segments in the spring. This is where the coils develop their flexibility and elasticity. The coils are now transported to the grinder where the top and bottom of the spring is ground away. Depending on the application, if the ends of the springs are required to be flat, they're ground to ensure the coils sit flush once installed. Next, the coils are hand loaded into the shot peener, a machine that fires small steel beads at the coils while they're rotated in a large drum. This step helps to remove any unwanted materials, leaving a shiny clean surface. It also helps to relieve stress from the surface of the coil, removing impurities that could later create problems. The effects of shot peening last approximately 10 times longer than sandblasting. Next is the testing phase. This can comprise of scragging, where the compression of the coil is tested to see if it returns to its starting height or loaded right height testing where the coil is compressed to a predetermined pressure. If the spring fails to meet the required specifications, it is scrapped. Pedder's quality assurance and ongoing commitment to high standards means every spring manufactured in their Keysborough plant is individually checked and tested. Once scrutinized, they're ready to be powder coated. Powder is attracted to the coil by a magnetic process with the coil being negatively charged and the nozzle of the gun positively charged. Excess powder is drawn to the rear of the booth and recycled for future use. When the rack is full, it's wheeled into an oven to be cured at 220 degrees. Roughly 30 minutes later, the coil springs are allowed to cool once more before being tested one final time for correct thickness and to see if they're fully cured. Branding and technical specifications are printed with an inkjet before the coil spring is finally packaged up, ready for distribution. This process has been refined to allow Pedders to manufacture springs for a variety of automotive applications, from sedans to SUVs, commercial vehicles, caravans, even high-end performance springs developed for the extreme conditions of the Supercars Championship. With a range of coil springs that now total 1,700 unique part numbers, all covered by Pedders' two-year 40,000 kilometre nationwide warranty. Petters Coil Springs, a great Australian manufacturing story.